blood freezes. Run up the sail! Yes, sail! Let the sail out! Yotve will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my bones on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin riches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right. Until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. I love being out on the open water. The chill, the mist, the rolling waves. It gives a feeling of freedom. And then, to look around and see the rising fjords and glinting snow, I think, by the gods, the world is a place of wonder. See there, the vaulted shoulder bones of sad Emir. The bubbing seas, his blood, his brains, the soaring clouds. Fashioned for stout warrior folk by the old father and his kin. For all this, I must give thanks. There you go again, putting feeling into words that none here can match. So I averse yourself, then. Poems are not difficult if you get bent to your feelings. Uh, I will feel my feelings as I always have, without words between them and me. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. If he attacked your misfortunes, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song.
Well, well, the feather of ravens ret We thought we had lost you, Eivor, for good this time. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyotr's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after seventeen winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor, just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit. Now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out, then release.
Thank you, Eivor. Now, I have something for you. See, all in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer, but I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. I need your eyes, my friend. Looking rough you are. Welcome home. <laughs> Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. Hello, Eivor. I have not had the win all day. I must turn this around. Is the king free to speak with me? He is still with the emissary from the north. I would wait a while longer. Understood. I will come back. Is there no one who will go around with me? All right. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Er uvis vaun evan livi eða deyð með sannindu. Vaun munni enn verða að glýi. Merkir aldrei vel er þó að lána. Like Odin, mead is my lifeblood. That was well drunk. Well done. Well drunk done. Is there no one who will go around with me? All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. This land will never prosper while clan battles clan. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor. 
The only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teaching, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I will make a fine goblet from out of your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I look forward to becoming far more than you can bear. A good rhyme, but a bad structure. Close, you're close. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn, if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Albus. Signed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Tovi says she is trying out some new tattoos. She is, and she's getting better at it. Let me have a look. Go ahead.
good. Need anything else? See you later, Swain. Sure. Point me to some good hunting grounds. I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade. But it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? Anything else? That's all for now. Return any time.
They must be finished now. But if you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Sit a while and play, friend. Oh, man. 